Hey there and welcome back to Bull Run Angel, your go-to channel for everything crypto. In today's video, we're gonna explore a unique project that's making waves in the crypto community. The project is known as Bannockmore and with its ongoing pre-sale and pink sale ending in just 5 days, there is a lot to unpack here. But before we dive in, a quick disclaimer, as you know, this video is not a financial advice, but an informational overview of what this project is offering. As with any other project, be sure to do your own research before investing and consult a professional if needed. All right, guys, first off, we're going to talk about the Bannockmore pre-sale on Pink Sale. The pre-sale is live right now and it's creating quite a buzz as it's ranking number nine on Pink Sale's trending list. The project boasts a doc's founder named Frankie Bannockin, whose credentials you can check out on LinkedIn which is super super rare in the crypto market nowadays. Plus they've got their token audit covered by tech rate ensuring transparency and security for potential investors. The Bannockmore project is all about merging Scottish heritage with blockchain returns. They're literally building a castle in Scotland and their BNR token has already completed its audit. The pre-sale details are pretty straightforward as one Ethereum will get you 2,500 BNR during the pre-sale. And after the pre-sale when they list the token one Ethereum will get you 2,200 BNR. They have set a soft cap of 20 ETH and a hard cap of 80 with a plan to list an Uniswap after the pre-sale. And if you're wondering about liquidity, they're locking it in for 90 days post pool. Alright guys, that would be it when it comes to Pink Sale. Now we're gonna switch our gears to their website. As you can see, this project isn't just about building structures, it's about creating experiences and integrating them with blockchain technology. They're merging the physical world with the digital, creating a community fund castle estate in Scotland. Their vision is to develop a physical estate for real-world experiences and utilize their token for various project-related activities and benefits. The BNR token, as you can see, is central to this vision, offering both financial support and utility to its holders. Besides this, NFTs also play a crucial element as they provide tiered experiences and privileges. Another great highlight worth mentioning that we're going to talk about more is the Bannockmore Digital Estate. Their digital estate is offering a digital counterpart to the physical estate and thus breaking geographical barriers and enhancing global accessibility. The primary objective of this project is, as I explained, to establish a community-funded development. It's not just about building a castle in Scotland, it's about fostering a sustainable environmentally conscious estate that resonates with the boat community and the broader world. The project aims to create a tangible physical space that not only reflects its cultural and historical values, but also offers real-world experiences like exclusive stays and cultural events. Another key objective worth highlighting is providing value to the token holders, both tangible and intangible. This is where the BNR token comes into play as it supports the project financially but also offers utility and value to its holders. This includes participation in the project's development, staking opportunities and access to exclusive benefits. As I already mentioned, the implementation of NFT is another great highlight. Owning a Bannockmore NFT is something like holding a key to various levels of engagement and interaction with the project project, both in the physical estate and its digital manifestations. With a total supply of 1 million BNR, they have a detailed allocation plan covering everything from liquidity to development and marketing. The pre-sale and listing prices are set and they have a clear use of fund strategy. And plus, they taught about transaction taxes with 6% tax on BNR transactions. 20% of the total supply is allocated for the pre-sale and 15% of the total supply is dedicated to liquidity. The liquidity is further bolstered by 90 days lockup period, which should instill confidence in potential investors about the project's commitment to stability. The development fund receives 30% of the total supply, and advisors' maintenance and ongoing costs are allocated 20%. And of course, last 10% are reserved for marketing and community management. Alright guys, moving on, as you can see, the Bannockmore Digital is a digital twin of the physical castle estate in Scotland. Their digital twin offers global accessibility, allowing people from all over the world to connect with the project regardless of their physical location. Further on, the utility of the Bannockmore NFTs is significantly enhanced by the digital estate. These NFTs serve functional roles both in the physical world and within the online realm. They offer various tiered access and privileges, making it a key to a rich, immersive experience. Also, it's worth knowing that anyone holding more than $500 of BNR in their wallet can connect and experience the Bannockmore digital estate. And with this being said, guys, that would be it for today 
today's video. This is the Bannockmore Project in a nutshell, a blend of history, culture and cutting-edge blockchain technology. Remember that the pre-seal is ending in just five days, so be sure to check this project out and as always do your own research and invest wisely. And if you found this review helpful, smash that like button, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for more crypto insights. Also be sure to drop your thoughts and questions in the comments below and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.